I mean, I, I, I mean... Cockroach men, spider men, what are you talking about? Look at some insects, right? Yeah. They don't have machinery, yet they're getting by, aren't they? They, they? they have their lives like we do. They get up, they wander about, they collect food, they tidy up, they fix stuff, they make their own house. We can't do any of that. So what I'm saying is, why aren't we using them? Why are these cockroaches with all these powers and stuff powers going about? It's all these powers. But how could we use them? How could we harness them? I just them? told you, dustbin men. Or, or whatever that's No, what you, you said that if they were also men, if they were cockroach men, we where's, could the, use where's them. the. You've left a big bit out, but when that one inch cockroach becomes a six foot bloke w wearing a, a jacket. It's just that we always use insects for like a bit of fun. You, you see flea circuses and all that, which is all very well, but I don't think he's getting the most out of them. Woke up at 9.55am. As soon as I woke up, I looked at Suzanne and she looked at me. I said, did I tell you about the immune system? <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne started laughing. I said, it's amazing. She said, not now. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I was thinking that. Swinging into action. He zips up his eyes are like... Did I tell you about the immune system? Oh, <laughs> shut up, Carl. Put the kettle on. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> okay, then. This is the Carl Pilkington Top 5 Freaks in a number five. Um, probably, uh, something not too good at number five, but it's still interesting. Lighthouse Man. Who's that? What's Lighthouse light Man? What's Lighthouse Man? It's a fellow with a hole in his head. <laughs> And he, uh, <laughs> what he does, rather than moan about it, sticks a candle in it. Shut up. What are you talking about? Sticks a candle in it. What are you talking about? Where is the I hole? I bet he didn't call himself Lighthouse Man, did he? Well, I don't know. It's just what, what he, 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 he got nicknames. Because he had this hole. Doctors were like, there's nothing we can do. Can't fill it. So what can I do with it? And it was of the days when there was no electric and that. You had to walk about with a candle. <laughs> right. So like, hang on a minute. Got okay, a like hold, I can have both candle holder yeah. Stuck a candle in it and he just got nicknamed the Lighthouse Man. So again, not, I mean, it's not that amazing, but I like the way he, he was sort of energy efficient. Um, so was it his forehead? No, on the very top of his head. That's perfect. You don't want it in the forehead, Steve, you'd have to walk back with your ridiculous. neck ridiculous. So he was like a kind of human jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. He's a lighthouse man, what did you see? What, Sorry, what, what, what yeah, better I description do you need than the lighthouse man? So yeah, he's probably at number five. Wow, that's at number five, Steve. Number four. What about pig-faced woman of Manchester Square? <laughs> God. Again. You're getting what it says in the tin there, aren't you? Right. And it's just this woman who had a face like a pig. <laughs> and, uh, the rumour was... Yeah. ...that it wasn't a woman. <laughs> Someone said it was a pet bear and they'd shaved it. <laughs> That's what oh, I, God! That's what was, this someone, was this someone you saw? Or no, you no, just this, read is, this is going back. This is this years is, ago. This is years and years ago. Yeah. Uh, when there was loads of, like, weird-looking people. I mean, the fact that it's pig face woman of Manchester Square... <laughs> yeah. ...says that there might have been one in... <laughs> Piccadilly Circus. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So there was a lot more of them knocking about back then. Let's assume that, um, it was a woman, and the first one, you know, the lighthouse fellow, he's a, he's a human. Do you think people would object because of their... Disfigurement, deformity, um, a little bit like being called freaks, do you think? Well, it, it gave them a purpose back then. See, if you were a freak years ago, it was work for you. You'd have these circus things. Mm. Now, if you've got a funny head, you're on the dole. Uh, number three? What about Elephant Man? Right. Stick him at number three. He's, oh, he's, he's number three. He's, the, he's surely the most famous freak ever to have lived, isn't he? He's the one who got me into it. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, sure, he's sort uh, of entry-level freak. Yeah. A yeah. uh, gateway freak. Everyone, everyone is aware of him. Mm. If the Elephant Man still existed, right, and you got the opportunity to meet him, and you walked in, a couple of questions. One, what would your first reaction be? And two, what would you say to him? What would your first question be? How would I react? Well, I've, I've sort of seen him enough now that it wouldn't shock me. Mm -hmm. So, I don't even think I'd flinch. Okay. Uh, I mean, like I said, when I first saw you, that, that was... <laughs> That was a, a bit weird, mm. but now look, I can look at you, I don't double take mm. or anything. Uh, what would I say to him though? What, what, uh... I'd probably say, where do you get that hat to fit you? <laughs> <laughs> he always had that on. Where do you get that from? <laughs> oh, that sort of flat cap that he's got. Yeah, yeah <sighs> that on, he? So yeah, I'd have him, so he's at number three. Right. Uh, and for man number three, I can't wait right, for two yeah. and one. Right, okay, number two. Well, I know two. what my number one is. It's just number two now. I don't know his name, but there's a fella knocking about... Well, I don't think he's around anymore. But he had, like, a normal body looking at him. You'd go, what's up with him? He's not a freak. 
takes his undies off, he's got two <laughs> knobs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's nowhere to start. Do you think he, he uses them alternately, like, I have a wee out of this one, I have a wee out of that one, or does he just, like, spread the load so he's weeing out of both? I don't think he knows. What I mean, it's sort know? of like a lucky dip. When he goes to a urinal, yeah. he, sort of, he can have a little bet with himself. He's just like, I don't know what's going to happen here. So he directly he holds them holds both them out? Belt, definitely. So he takes his trousers down, cos, I mean, you know... He, yeah, he can't uh, use a Y front. Right. Be, uh... Need more like a W front. Yeah. So, um, he, he pops his pecs down there. I don't think it's that much of a problem. It's not like, uh... Well! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd prefer that than Elephant Man's head. Well, of course you would. Well, that's what I'm saying. What if you had Elephant Man's knob? Yeah, but he didn't work like that, did it? That's the thing. They said he had the body of an elephant, but that's the only thing that wasn't of an elephant standard. <laughs> His knob was normal. Whereas with this fella, it's the other way around. Everything normal, took the pants off. Oh, well, what's going on here? <laughs> but why would you ever take his pants off? No, well, I wouldn't. I'm just saying if... But why, I, don't know, I don't know why you'd be in a situation with this man with two knobs standing there with his pants on and you go pop your pants off. You're not a doctor. No, I say if I'm waiting in a in a cubicle, yeah. and he's there. For what? So you're waiting, waiting in a cubicle. Have, I'm, waiting have, I'm waiting to have a wee at a cubicle. He's oh, taking two urinals up and going, right. hang on, you don't need them both, do you? He goes, well, actually. Oh, and then look at this. Right. He's got two knobs. See, I, I didn't see him at two urinals. I saw him at one, maybe them pointing inwards. If you had that, and you, and the, say the first time that you met Suzanne, would you mention that straight up? Would you say, right, before this goes any further, I've got something to show you. Well, let's see, exact, tell me exactly what you would say. Uh, you had normal head then, didn't you? I had, I had the same head, yeah. Yeah, but it had, like, hair in, coming out of it, didn't it? And yeah, yeah, but she also had a, a smaller arse back then <laughs> as well, so I think we've both been dumb. Anyway, we need to get to number one. Yeah, number one. Okay, it is. It's, uh, it's Pillow Man. Oh, yeah. Pillow Man. Okay, now explain for those that don't know who he was. He's, uh, he's a fella with, uh, no arms and legs, mm -hmm. just a head and a little body. Nickname Pillar Man. Well, why is he your favourite? Just because he's amazing. Just the way he, uh, he just got on with his life. He used to light a cig, just using his like his lips and his, his tongue and that. Oh, I've and seen not, this. Not it's fully a... lit. He'd buy like roll your own. Yeah, it's uh, it's in the film Freaks, isn't it? Yeah. And he, he, he had a shave it. as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Really do you think he, he used to do it? He used to get it in his mouth, and I don't know. Jesus, it's amazing. Did he have Did he have a knob? I think he did because he had some kids. What? Yeah, he had kids. He was an alright looking fella. He wasn't he wasn't odd looking. He's just sorry? He, no, he looked like Samuel L. Jackson. Imagine him with no arms and legs. Right, that's odd though, isn't it? Really? Um it's weird, but you've got to give it to him, you know. I mean he's he's there rolling his own, he's pretty cool looking. I just want to say to people it's no you say it looks cool to, you know, with no arms and no legs to smoke, but don't forget that smoking can stunt your growth. Yeah. But uh yeah, remember, he was on, like, this, this circus freak show thing with, yeah. like, a bearded woman. Yeah. Right? Um, which isn't really a freak, is it? She's gonna have a shave. Have a shave, you're not a freak anymore. <laughs> yeah. A bearded woman. Compared to a fellow who's got no arms and legs, a bearded woman, you're get out! <laughs> <laughs> um, but there was, there was, like, a fellow with, with, uh, no bottom half to his body, uh, called Johnny Eck, was his name. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. So, you know, when you're knocking about with that crowd, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get, get a bit. <laughs> you're gonna get a bit. So, yeah, he had kids and they were all normal kids. They had all the limbs. Did his wife had arms and legs? Never saw his wife. Never saw his wife. I think he's... He was probably ashamed of her. She was a bit of a freak. For someone like him, you'd think he'd just give up, wouldn't you? You'd think, forget it. What sort of life is it? Yeah. I'm like a, a Mexican jumping bean. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like worth it. living. But he just got on with it. He, I mean, to have a shave, I, I don't even bother having a shave some days. No, no. Nor did the bearded lady. Lazy fucking bitch. So that's why I've put him at my number one position. Uh, it's just amazing, isn't it? The human, you know, how, how you know, whatever you dealt, some people just get on with it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the pillow man, or draft excluder, as I prefer to call him. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Now me and Steve are a couple of big shots. We do this for a laugh, but this is Carl Pilkerton's only source of income. This is what you do now, isn't it? This is me full time job. Yeah. What do you think of that? Is this uh, me. Why? This isn't what I ever wanted. Because <laughs> I haven't got a purpose, have I? I'm sat here talking about the pillow, man. <laughs> if it weren't for him, I'd have nothing to say. It just depresses me that I just wish I had a job where I felt like I was needed. 
and I don't feel needed. It's not a proper job. We need you. We no, need you. We but, need you for but, money for old route. Yeah. I know, but this isn't. I, I, I wanted something that you know, when you get when you die and that, it's, you know, you get up to the gates, or whatever, and they say, "What have you done?" And then I'm looking worried, thinking, "Is the pillar man about?" 